president stays here. Yes, I do. <laughs> Just kidding. The actual Indonesian president, when he comes to stay here in Bali, he stays at this resort. It's called Inaya Putri in Nusa Dua. Came here for work to get some work done. I thought I should show you where I stay. This pretty much has it all. Space, Wi-Fi, great food, great staff, great pool, free mini bar. So many. Welcome to my home for the next few days. Ah! Let me show you around. But first, let me... Let me change. I've been traveling all day. Do you guys know I've been here before? I don't know if you do. Probably not. I don't know. But anyway, it's one of my favorites because it's so big. That's what she said. It's very spacious. There's a lot of amenities. Breakfast. <laughs> I'm like waiting for tomorrow just so that I could have the breakfast. Mini bar. You know what? Let me just change and let me do a tour of my Bali home for the next couple of days. Okay, bye. Okay, what? Okay, bye. Room tour. Let's see. Oh, hi. This is nice. This is where you'll find me over the next few days, just making my online course. And what else is here? Yeah. Dun -dun -dun. We'll just go back inside. I had one beer and now I can't be bothered to go out to dinner. Cause I would just sleep. <laughs> All right. It's 10 p.m. I am going to sleep. I'm gonna starfish out there. This is a king size bed and I love it. Everybody, good night. See the light. <gasps> oh, this is pretty. Whoops. I think the sun is rising. I wonder if the gym's open. Heard me rave about it enough, but one of my most favorite things about this resort, I promise you, is the breakfast. And I'll show you why. That's where we came from over there, and then you walk up the steps, and this is what it's called. Okay, let the tour begin. There are a number of reasons why I love this breakfast, and one of them is the fact that after all the breakfast buffets that I've been to in my life, in all the different hotels around the world, this place does a lot of elements well. So while a lot of different buffets do a lot of different elements, they don't necessarily do elements well. Now by elements, I really mean cuisine and food items. So let's start off with the Western section. These are the boiled eggs and then the baked beans and the scrambled eggs. Earlier you saw the roast potatoes and now those are fried bananas. These, I don't really know. This is some sort of local frittata. Um, but let's veer off to the local section. This is my absolute favorite. I had this every single day that I stayed there uh, in the past and even now. So that is tofu, that is salted egg, but they do change this section up quite regularly. So some days you might get nasi goreng, sometimes you'll have another type of nasi. Uh, <laughs> Let us head off to the sushi section. So by now you can probably tell how large this buffet breakfast is. They can actually seat up to 250 people. However, no problem, they have a pretty well-oiled system where they replenish the food on a regular basis and the staff are super fast so the service does not suffer irrespective of the capacity. Should I? Mm -hmm. Oh my god, I am obsessed! I didn't care for these ever in my life, ever, but why wouldn't you? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh. You know what? Let me show you this place through a photo shoot because I need to take the pictures. But I also want to show you the place. So let's just two birds with one stone. Okay, maybe the coffee has kicked in. All right, let's go. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take a few of my bathing suits inside my bag. I'm going to take my camera. I'm going to take the tripod. Okay, enough chat to Cam. Let me just take you for a walk. Now, we're actually starting at the back 
of the resort. Why are we doing that? Because this section is new. Last time I was here in January 2018, this section did not exist. Correct, it did not exist. But after, <laughs> after we watched me being amazed at how beautiful it is, which to the right you will see a dive pool, it's three meters deep. Um, I'll show you the rest of it, but first. So one of the guys, his name was Moi, I think. M-W-A, yeah, Moi. <laughs> He mentioned how down here in this area, there's going to be a pool bar and then a DJ up that away. Now here, see, this is going to be a bar, a sunken bar. How cool is that? You can see the chairs have already been there. They just need to set up the bar on the inside. There's a, a little kiddie pool there so the children are nice and safe in more shallow water. Check out the vibes here. They're a little bit different to the main resort. Um, it's a little bit more, you know what? I got that European vibe to be honest with you. Now, see there, that is where I'm going to take you. Basically along the coastline here at Nusa Dua where all the resorts are, it's resort after resort after resort after resort. This particular resort in Ayaputri has the longest frontage before you even get to the building. And then when you get there it's quite open. So that's where the lobby is, the reception is. At the main area there's like a bar, a, down, a bar downstairs from the reception. I'd love to see it when it's all done actually. So I've just been chilling here we took some pictures for the gram and then I'll shoot a few more outfits sort of around the other the pool area and the the long walkway I think that's it we'll call it a day to paint a picture I've been up since five in the morning I did have breakfast but I did some filming I imagine it would pretty much be an all-day affair but that's good because I'll be checking out tomorrow and then I'll be at Semyak and we're gonna have a lot of fun Okay, these are some pictures which I took on the day. They've been edited. I just wanted to show you what they ended up looking like against, you know, the background that I've just talked about. Uh, they were taken by the staff, the production staff, and you will find them on my Instagram. Okay, I found another photo op. Yes, it's the bathtub. And so I started running one, a bath earlier. It always helps to have props in a photo. You see a lot of pretty pictures using flowers or food or fruit. In this case, I found this impromptu. So the whole purpose of this is to help you brainstorm some ideas where you know you might not have something that's picture perfect right away. So how can you make it picture perfect? This lovely thing over here is where you would normally put your book or your clothes and that originally was over there and it was stood out like, like it also had the clothes horse oh hello so the clothes horse was there but i moved the clothes horse there so then i could have like this clear space and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to put this on top of there and then we're going to have a look at some angles of how to shoot this bath after that planning and styling and working out the lighting, this is the picture that I got. Now, let's go back to the rest of the resort. Now, this is more from the front of the resort. See behind me, that is the restaurant where the breakfast is. And now we're heading back to the back so that I can show you the bikes. Now, you can ride the bike. I've ridden the bike to go somewhere else. But for now, I just want to give you an idea of how large this actual resort is. So what we're going to do, let us run. Why? Because if we walk, we will never get anywhere. So we're just going to run and run. And I told the guy behind the camera, I said, hey, Rio, do you want to run with me? And he said, yes. But I think by the end of it, he kind of regretted it because it was actually quite a long run. Don't worry, though, because if you're here, you'll be walking in a leisurely way, not like me running everywhere. Now, this is a little view of the three tiered infinity pool. And let me stress on the fact that this is a little view because this is quite a larger pool, which is also surrounded by two more pools on either side of it. But now let's go back to walking or maybe even running. <laughs> All right, behind me, that is Gading Restaurant and the other restaurants. It's quite a long stretch. But where I'm going to take you is a little area called Pang Lipuran. So this section, so what we're going to do is head back towards the main area. It's nearing the reception area. This strip is called Pang Lipuran, which is actually a model 
of a village that exists within Bali, a traditional village. Now here you'll find little shops. The shopkeepers are really, really lovely. And if you're walking from any room to head out to the pool or the restaurants, you should be passing down this area. It's very beautiful. I've been editing my pictures from today. Here's a shot. And then I ordered a white chocolate and strawberry cheesecake. They actually have six areas to order food from. And even though this came from another restaurant, they came and delivered it to me. I really appreciated that. Morning guys. I skipped dinner last night. It's currently, I don't know, I think it's 6.45 in the morning. I've gotten my gym gear on. We're gonna go to the gym first, coffee. And since I've been here, I've been doing a lot of content. I haven't actually sat down to do nothing. Mmm, yes, a life of a content creator. But I think, like I said yesterday, I'd much prefer this being my job than anything else. It's totally worth it for me. I'm just gonna sit here on the balcony and listen to the birds for a little while before I go to the gym. Oh, funny, William. When Billy and I used to come here, it would look like this. Anyway, one, it's now 8.15. All right. Okay, let me tell you a little bit about the gym. So it's a cozy little room which has a few cardio uh, machines and it's also got some free weights. Basically, it's good enough for you to be able to do a full body workout. The gym doesn't really get too busy. I've been here in the past and uh, sometimes the cardio equipment may be taken up. However, there is enough room to, I would say, have five people in it comfortably. And I say five people, meaning to say that each person has enough space to do their own thing. The gym opens at 7 a.m. I'm not too sure what time it closes. You can get your towels from here. They have small bottles of water. It's pretty clean. And overall, for me, it did the job for sure. Lunch has arrived. Oh my. I ordered the soft shell crab sushi and some chicken and mushroom dumpling soup. Oh, and a beer. I got the soup. I'm going through a dumpling phase and a oh and a mushroom phase, so I'm winning. That's good broth. Oh, yum. Try dumpling. Dumplings look handmade. Mm. <laughs> Very good. Wow, that broth is delicious. Yeah. Oh wow, really good quality sushi. Great rice, good ratio of crab. Everyone loves a good ratio, you know what I mean? Okay, Insta shots are done. It took the whole day, but I guess what I just really wanted to stress is like stuff that you see on Instagram sometimes. Like yes, that's part of real life, but the poses, the outfits, they're kind of staged. Not all the time, but there's a lot of thought that goes into it. So I know like if you watch Instagram, scroll, 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 and you're kind of like, why is it my life look like that? Why does her life look so much nicer? Why does he get all... It's actually a lot of work. It's kind of like, you know the production, the efforts of production to make a magazine or to make a TV show? It's kind of the same level. You use the equipment, you do the, almost the same amount of planning, you have the sponsorships, you have all these little bits and pieces. So if you are wanting to get into the gram and make that your life, it's just a bit of a heads up to let you know there's a bit of work involved. If you love to consume the content of Insta, just know that people who are content creators, Instagrammers, like professionally, that's their work. So don't feel as though you really need to compare yourself to what you see on the gram. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, please pop them in the comment section down below. What do you think of this resort? What do you think? What do you think? Have you ever stayed here in Nusa Dua? If you have, what's your experience been? And if you haven't stayed here just yet, why is that? 